Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily here with my good friend Simon Borg. I'm Nick Fershaw. The fallout continues from that big matchup between the Seattle Sounders and the Portland Timbers from Sunday night at Century Link Field. It's Pa Moduka, the Timbers' <laughs> central defender, with the latest comments. These ones about Clint Dempsey, the Seattle Sounders star player and big name acquisition, obviously. The quote's coming from Pa Moduka saying, I've seen better players in Europe, Simon, and if he was so good, he would have stayed at Tottenham. There's a couple sides to look at this, but either yeah. way, it makes the rivalry a little bit better when they come back around next time. What'd you think of the comments. Fans are going ballistic over the comments, Nick, and I think there are two ways you can look at it. First, uh, there's the aspect of, look, American soccer fans, they appreciate Clint Dempsey, they know him, they followed him over the years, they think highly of him. He's the captain of the national team. They think Pa Moduka, whatever he says, doesn't matter at all. He's just gotten to American soccer, knows nothing probably about Dempsey. What does he know? Disregard the comments. Criticize them if you want. But then there's the other aspect where Pa Moduka has a fresh take on American soccer. He's just got here, uh, and he, he's seen Dempsey maybe for, for for the first couple times in his career, doesn't appreciate him the way we do, and maybe that's his take on him. And maybe the international take, the European take on Dempsey, is a different one from the American. So I accept it. Look, in the end, Pamo Duca, to me, earned the right to talk trash. He and the Timbers defense shut down Dempsey, and it's going to be fascinating to see when these two guys meet up what it's like. Yeah, one more regular season game on the docket between the Timbers and the Sounders later this fall out at Gelled Wen Field. As for now, let us know what you think about the latest trash talk in the comments section below. And as as of this Tuesday, still waiting to hear if there's going to be any disciplinary action about all that physical play from the latest incarnation of Sounders Timbers. Shifting our focus up to Montreal, where Impact president and owner Joey Saputo talking about head coach Marco Shalomamu actually missed that big win over the Houston Dynamo over the weekend, serving the first of a two-game suspension, his latest in a string of suspensions this year. But it doesn't seem to matter for Joey Saputo, who said uh, the contract negotiations and an extension are going to hinge on whether or not the Impact make the playoffs. Now, let's say they do make the playoffs, they're in a good position right now. Can Marco Schallenbaum win MLS Head Coach of the Year, given all the grief we give international coaches in their first year, how difficult it is to acclimate to the league? Can Marco Schallenbaum win the award? I think he, sh he should be in the running for the award, uh, and I think I think the fact that he's come from overseas and done the job he has has to be taken into account. But you wonder if all the shenanigans, all the indiscretions he's had on the field uh, and the suspensions, whether that was, those factor into the minds of the voters when they come to vote and whether they go maybe for guys like Jason Christ, like Oscar Pereja, maybe who are more well-liked. But I think if Shalabam has a great run with Montreal from now to the end of the season, doesn't have any more issues, warms up to everyone, I think he has a great shot to win. Yeah, a long way to go left in the regular season, but as for now, keep and I peeled on the MLS power rankings. They come out on Tuesday. You're going to see the Montreal impact make a huge jump in the polls. Well, it is Tuesday, so time to take a look at the latest from the Castrol Index, looking at the best players in Major League Soccer right now. And no real surprise, Kyle Beckerman wins out for the past week of action and some other good players in the top five as well. Michael Sperning, Seattle Sounders goalkeeper. Uh, he earned the shutout. He is at number two, followed by Tim Cahill of the Red Bulls at three. Number four, Blas Petters of FC Dallas. He scored a goal against San Jose over the weekend. And number five, Montreal Impact fullback Jeb Brofsky, who scored a goal in that 5 nothing whitewashing of the Houston Dynamo. Well, make sure you log on MLSsoccer.com slash Castro to get to the complete rankings. And don't forget, the CONCACAF Champions League is back Tuesday night, Houston Dynamo and Sporting Kansas City in action. The Dynamo in the early game, 8 p.m. Eastern. They're at home against Arabe Unido from Panama. That's on Fox Sports 1. And the nightcap, Sporting Kansas City on the road at Olympia. A team MLS fans are very familiar with down there in Honduras. That game, 10 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer Plus. Before we get out of here, X-Time Radio came out on Monday. The podcast available on iTunes, Buzzsprout, Stitcher Radio, Jay Heaps from the New England Revolution, and Justin Matt from the Montreal Impact. That does it for us. See you back with another edition of The Daily. <laughs>